Hello, and welcome back to another Dominaria draft. Um, haven't done one of these in a while, so possibly rusty. Um, this pack, rare is pretty solid. I mean, 4 mana 5 5 and limited, obviously great. And then the second effect is very good. Uh, Sissay's Legacy is very good, but it is two colors, so I don't want to pick that. Uh, Gitu Chronicler is great because, you know, you're just basically always going to kick this. You'd be pretty desperate to not kick this, but, you know, getting back an instant sorcery like a fight with fire or even a just something good, like something powerful is pretty good. Um, Blessed Light's good. Cold Snapper is good. Um, but, you know, the rare is just probably a cut above the rest. Also, these two lands are pretty solid. I really like both of these lands. Um, so we can pick this, and I'm not sure what we will, but... Um, yeah, just try and be green. And uh, let me just read him. So yeah, you have to fight another creature. So you gotta be careful with that. You don't wanna play that on an empty board kicked just for, for funsies. Or not an empty board. You don't wanna kick it for no reason as a rub in if you have a creature because then you have to fight your own creature. I think that was in the pre-release notes because they were leaked or something like that. I can't remember something, something was leaked. Okay, so if we were playing modern, we could take this to stop Tron and Storm, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, on Sarah's Wings is really powerful, like really powerful. And the green card like is fine, Baylock Gorger, but like we can get another Baylock Gorger. We can't get another On Sarah's Wings. I think I have to take this. They obviously took a rare, so the white signal isn't huge, but you know this is a, just an insanely powerful card if unanswered. Obviously, you can get two for one, but I'm willing to take that risk with this. Other cards in the pack again, Baylock Gorger could stay on green. Um, Deep Freeze is decent and kind of a weak pack apart from that, but On Terror's Wings is sweet, so I'm going to take that. Um, okay, so now we do have an Ancient Animus, which is good with Territorial Allosaurus. Um, Dauntless Bodyguard, I'm not super interested in that. Uh, t I've heard that these games kind of go quite long. Sorcerer's Wand is good, especially if it's games going along. You just if it's a board stall, you just you know tap tap tap, and you're pinging them if you got wizards. But the Animus goes with our Allosaurus. Um, the Vault Trapper um, could go with Onsar's Wings, but I think this is a bit more powerful. Obviously, I could, I could take this to stay open, but you know, who knows what how many colors we're we're drafting. Uh, okay, so a bunch of good white cards here. I'm um, not sure how good this green card here is. Look at the, 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 the. Yeah, you need a, you need a legendary for that. Um, Knight of Grace is a solid two drop, and then Blessed Light is also good. Good removal. Uh, you have my Sh Sapherd, um, aka Shepherd. If we wanted to stay green, but we're we're seeing this is two good white cards. Do I take? What have I passed? Uh, not sure what I should take here. The sapper it's not great with Ancient Animus. So I'm kind of inclined to take a white card here. Hmm. Blessed Light is pretty good, but Knight of Grace is solid. And we don't have much removal yet. Uh, we got one removal. I guess, I guess I'll take the Unconditional Removal spell. <clears throat> That's a pretty light Skizix. Um... Not interested in Lawn War Scout. I am interested in Grow of the Ashes, or Grow from the Ashes. And I do like Jousting Lance as well. But we don't have many creatures yet, and by many I mean we only have one creature. I could take the Skizix. Red could be open. I mean, Skizix is a great red card. And we've gone one, two, three, four people haven't taken a Skizix. I mean, that's, uh, so, and Grow, is Grow, is Grow really that good? It fixes. I'm just going to take the Skizix. See if that pays off. Alright, I like Sapling Migration. That's pretty sweet. Um, you know, you get to kick it, or and then early game it's blockers as well. And then with equipment it's really good, so maybe we could pick up an equipment and it'll be better. There's a Yargle. But there's also a Sapherd, which is just fine in our deck. And we don't want to take one blocker. I know it took Skizix, but that was a little different. And Yargle's not super good. He's fine. I'll take the Sapherd. Okay, so now... There's a Mammoth Spider that we could play. It's good against Flyers, obviously. It's a spider, it has reach. Um, Blood Tallow Candle. Man, I, I should have studied more because I'm not sure what people's take on this is. Also, Blink of an Eye is very good. Like, this is a super light blink. Um, 
I'm like, we probably can get a bunch more spiders. So maybe we just speculate on the blink of an eye. I know that's a lot of speculation. Uh, maybe we just take the guaranteed card. Okay, fine, I'll take the guaranteed card. Okay, that was nice. So we wield Memorial to Glory. <clears throat> so that means like I'm way more likely to play white now. Snapper's quite good as well. So blue's kind of open because the snapper was there and the... the, do, 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 the Okay, so I'm going to take Tragic Poet here. Primordial Worm, I'm not sure what the verdict is on him because, you know, we're used to... Well, I'm used to Colossal Dreadmaws, you know, 6-6 um, six, six Trampler. Um, but Tragic Poet's pretty good, but on Terra's Wings, we don't have anything else with it. So maybe I should take the Worm... That's a nice finisher. Um, the Tragic Poet is only good with Ansari's Wings, so yeah, maybe that's not super good. I guess I'll take the Sorcerer's Wand. Leave it there. Let's just sort by Converted Mana Cost so you guys can see. Okay, so we've got a... How many, we only have one Legendary if we if we play this, so I'll take the Guaranteed Spell that we're going to... Uh, maybe we should. Uh, okay, I'm just going to take Gift of Growth because I know that's pretty good. Uh, put that on the sideboard on the sideboard so yeah we've got a skizzix so maybe if we open a red rare we can we can go red but if we open a, you know a solid white card it might just stay white uh, white white um, green okay so there's gilded lotus but we're kind of more interested in this grun the lonely king king it's a super good win con uh, when it attacks alone it doubles its power so if you kick it it's even better we do want this elfheim druid but probably not gonna wield but i think grun the lonely king's better just as this needs other cards for it to be good. It's actually really good with Sapperling Migration and Territorial Allosaurus, but gonna have to take the Grun the Lonely King. White cards in the pack, there's Dub. I'm not gonna take that for Grun. Um, Vicious Offering is a good black card. We're not black though, so probably gonna take the Grun. Hope to wield this somehow, I don't think so. Um, probably won't wield this either. It's a rare and also it helps you splash, so we're not gonna add a ramp, so and especially in a formal kicker, we're not gonna wield that. What could we wield? Nothing much, basically. We might wheel Arbor Emerald, but we take the Grun. Oh, wow. So, white cards. Could take another... Ooh, could take Sarah Angel. Like, that's really good. What's this do? I don't have that many historic cards, though. I only have two. It gets a counter, though, which is really good. And I have two, so... That, and then I have, if I play Sorcerer's Wand, I'm probably not playing Sorcerer's Wand, though, so that's only two. Sarah Angel's definitely really good. Ancient Animus is good as well, though. But I think this is a bit of a white signal, so I, and I, I, I do want a flyer, and that's a really good win condition as well. There's another Skizzix. Wow, we're getting seen all the Skizzix here. Um, bunch of black cards. The Skizzix here, which, you know, it's unfortunate. Uh, maybe if we get a Grove from the Ashes, we can just splash these Skizzixes. Oh, no, we can't really, because you have to if they're basically double red if you want to keep them alive. That's not great. All right, um... Or I could just take the Skizzix and then have two Skizzix and then still cut these three white cards. Like, two Skizzix versus these three is pretty close, right? I guess this is this four. Um, Blood Tallow Candle, Hinterland Harbor for fixing, for a splash, like if we open, if we get a Tatiova. That'll never happen, though. Um, I guess Skizzix is the best card. And we're not really giving up much not by taking the hinterland harbor or the blood tallow candle so i'll take a skizzix we've got a blood tallow candle anyway Ooh, the married conjecture oh this is my oh no i thought that was the other one okay well i'm not picking that anyway um cloud reader sphinx is really good not much in our colors primordial worm i don't know if we want too many six drops could take and invoke the divine but blood tallow candle. i think i'm going to take blood tallow candle i, I want to play with it at least um Couple of good cards here, Juggernaut, Call the Cavalry, Call the Cavalry. I think I like Call the Cavalry. Do I like that better than Juggernaut? He has to attack each turn of Fable. Is there anything with Death Touch in this format? Not that much, if any. Um, I do like Short Sword, but I'm probably not going to be able to get that because I like it with Sapling Migration. What's better, Call the Cavalry or Juggernaut? Call the Cavalry, Juggernaut. Call the Cavalry, Juggernaut. So I guess we're going these. think I'll go call the cavalry that was close that might be wrong as well ooh jousting lance 
I quite like jousting lance, especially with these saplings. I kept talking about equipment with with saplings and how it was good. Also, this is a leap valve, he's pretty good. And also, I think that's like the second Cloud Rear Sphinx. Maybe maybe we should have been in blue, but I think we've got some good white cards. Ooh, Impulse. Um, also, I mean, this is, yeah, like, blue's definitely open. Like, look at this. This is really good. This is pretty solid. Syncopate's good. But we'll take the green card. Divination. I mean, look at this stuff. Nature Spiral. That's probably better than Tragic Pope, because then I can get Grun back or anything back. Yeah, I'll take care of that. So, obviously, white... You know, I got some some good white cards, but it was probably a little bit cut off, and blue is more open. Um, I guess I'll take that for the sideboard against flyers. Take a second impulse. Ooh, the impulse isn't great in our deck. We only have six creatures. It looks like we have a lot more. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that is a creature. Six, seven, eight. Oh, so we have basically eight creatures. All right, well, we're going to need a little help in pack three. Going to need to get our creature count higher for Adventurous Impulse to be good, or else otherwise our playables aren't going to be great. I think there was like a blink of an eye in pack one that I could have taken, but... Oh, oh Tatiova, wow, it did happen. <laughs> that's what we're. That's what I said earlier. I'm like, well, well, they don't need to take that Hinterland Harbor. I'll just take the Skizix instead. Punished the max. Maybe we should take it anyway. It's really good. There is a Song of Frailies that we definitely will play. It helps us ramp out Grun and Primordial Worm. Works well with the Sapling Migration. Although we don't have many low drops for it to be good. You can't play it on turn two. Um, what to take here? I guess it's Song of Frailies or Juggernaut. Like Song of Felice, what does it do? It's pretty good in a go wide deck, but we're not super go wide. We've got one sapling migration and one call to cavalry. Song of Felice gets counters, they're pretty good. Tatiova's so good. It's a five drop. I think I'm gonna take Tatiova here. That was a that was a tough pick. The reason I didn't take didn't take Song of Frilly is just no low drops and maybe we can get a, a some splash thing going. Can't get him, he's too much of a splash. We don't have super good creature. Oh Sarah. Okay, I guess I'll take uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's decent. And it has first strike, which is not unrelevant. And it's creature. Ooh, Pegasus Courser. Ooh, messy unicorn. Ooh. Well, that's not super good in our deck. That's better in the black green deck. I like Pegasus Courser. It fills in the curve as well. But the Messy Unicorn with Jousting Lance is really good. But Pegasus Courser with um, Grun is amazing. So, so what's our two drops? Oh, we don't actually have many two drops. I'll go. Which is better in this deck? Right, I'm just going to take a three drop. There's the grow. I think I'm going to take the grow just because it fixes for Tatiova. Another Animus. We do have kind of one, two, three. Yeah, we've got some big creatures. Board the weather light. Look at the top five cards. Real historic. So we can get one, two, three, four, five. That's okay. Animus. Trapper is another tree drop, which is nice. Yeah, I think I'll take the tree drop. Just fill out the curve. Ooh, Elfheim. Beautiful. Dub is also there, but I think I like Elfheim. Or Elfheim. I don't know how to say it. Rosan Druid. He's a decent pickup. Okay, this, this deck's looking pretty good. Obviously regretting that I picked uh, this uh, Skizix earlier uh, for the fixing. But I mean, come on, like, how am I supposed to open a Tatiova? This is a fun name to say, though. Tatiova. 12 creatures, the impulses. I don't know if I'll play them all. 
They've got a pretty good hit rate, rate in the 40 card deck. What to take here? Flyer or Corrosive Ooze. Um, I'll take the flyer. I'll take this guy because he's a rare. Oh, I'll take that against Mill, actually. It came up before. <laughs> it came up before. Hmm. Primordial Worm. You getting you getting the chop? You getting the cut? Not sure. Um, yeah, that can fix as well for Tatiova. It's an okay three drop. Get this island here. Ooh, I'll take the Power Stone Shard. Man, we could have had a lot of Power Stone Shards. I wonder what the verdict on Power Stone Shard is. Okay, so let's just group creatures separately. Oh wow, we don't. What's what? How do we have this low creatures? Okay, so this is well one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's decent in this deck. Oh, it's a two drop flyer. Trapper's decent. That's a flyer, I'm not cutting. That could be a cut. He's not cut. Maybe Primordial Worm is not super good. Do we have two of these? Oh, okay, we have. Well, this is the land. Hold on. I'm just going to leave that there for now. Move that sideboard. Neutral spiral. What's the weakest of my three drops? This is pretty decent in our deck. That's good. He's good kicker. So it's probably between there and there. Because we want this for ish fixing. Desperation for Tatioba. Maybe this guy can't block, so. Yeah, maybe I'll put him there. These are all good. Well, that's another creature, basically. Maybe I'll take the night nature spiral. So now we add the land. Because I've forgotten that once, I'll never do it again. 10 and 5, really? What does it look like? Double white. I guess we have the... Yeah, 10, maybe. Nine and six, maybe? All right, I'll trust Moto. All right, that was the draft video, and stick around for the games, and thanks for watching.